Magandang gabi! It's another Learn to Gallop video at for tonight's video, bago pa mailuto ng mama ko ang mga gulay na meron kami dito, ipagpatuloy na natin ang ating mga gulay sa Tagalog. So, let's start! And for our first one, tada! What are these? Ano ang mga ito? Ano ang mga ito? These came from my uncle's moringa tree on our last visit. So, ito ay mga mga bunga ng malunggay. Mga bunga ng malunggay. Moringa fruits. Moringa fruits. Moringa. Malunggay. 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 Let's just have one. Let's say it again. Let's say it again. Bunga ng malunggay. Bunga ng malunggay. And for our second one, isa sa mga gulay na gusto ko, ripolyo. 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 Repolyo. Ripolyo. Repolyo. And for the third one, I don't have this vegetable here in the house, but last time that we visited my uncle, he had this vegetable growing in his garden. And uh, you can see it here on this video clip. Kalabasa. Kalabasa. Wow, look at that. Itong kamatis. Kalabasa, no? And for our last one, upo. 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 And you can see a video clip of an upo plant from our from our last visit to my uncle's house. Kasi meron siyang upo sa garden niya. And be careful with how you say or how you pronounce the word. Kasi if you pronounce the word upo, upo, that would mean sit, sit, upo ka, upo ka. So be careful with how you say or pronounce the word because it could mean it could mean sit. Upo, upo, upo is the gulay, and if you pronounce the word upo, upo, that means that means sit. Excuse me. And that's all for tonight because that's all the vegetables I have here with me. Hanggang sa susunod. Until next time, good night na. Bye.